Rodrigo De Paul on the right part of that midfield. 4-4-2 at times, 4-3-3. Really defensively, it's to get some structure around Lionel Messi up top when he just kind of hangs out. The rest of the team defends as a group. And boy, these fans have turned up in big numbers for this one. 90% Argentina. Mm, a little higher. <laughs> Ecuador, they make one change from their last match. Dominguez in goal once again. Same back four. in Capier coming off a wonderful season with Bayer Leverkusen where they won the German Bundesliga. That's the change right there. Gruezo coming in for Rodriguez. And I think a formational shift as well. You're going to see this more of a 4-3-3. Kendry Pius. 17 years old you heard everything you needed to know about this young man but the big thing for a 17 year old he led group b in recoveries balls won back for such a creative player it shows you the way that they like to really press and get after the ball at times moises caicedo the man from chelsea number 23 he makes this team tick in the middle and then the experience up top in enter valencia the captain the time is only played in the final at copa americas caicedo kept that in play it's a great touch by sarmiento Caicedo into the middle, this is Sarmiento cutting it back, Sarmiento kick save, Emiliano Martinez, Caicedo first to the loose ball, and that one's blasted over the end by the teenager, Kendry Paez, but Ecuador the best chances in the opening 15 minutes. And Caicedo has this time drifted out to the left hand side, picks up the second ball here in his more familiar position, a little bit deeper, arriving facing play, streaks away, Molina's having a tough time in that right back position right now. Great work by Sarmiento, but right as he goes to strike it, takes a little extra touch, and what a big save from Emiliano Martinez right there. A million dollars. Chelsea paid for him last summer. So two very expensive players. Oh, it's going to find Inter Valencia. Sports wide off the first touch. He cuts it in the middle. It's looped onto the roof of the net. That was Preciado who came all the way forward. The timing of the runs has been very good. So when there's time and space, Enter Valencia, he's got two center backs right now. Look at the run from him, splits both of them, but the ball is bent into his path. Then he's able to turn. Seemed quite ready for that. Was backing off and expecting someone else to be there. It's under hit. McAllister intercepts. Options either side. Goes all the way wide. Molina from the end line. Sends that cross into the middle. The header is looping wide. Enzo Fernandez. After they defended very well in the beginning because now you're out of your defensive structure. You've got players all over the place and it allows them to create the 2v1 wide. Get that ball into the box. And now they've got four players attacking the ball, which is how Enzo Fernandez ends up with that clear header. Now they're, they're chirping at each other. Two very high-quality midfielders. Oh, wow. Valencia laid on McAllister, and finally, and finally Andres Mitchell a take. Card. Yeah, that's pretty cynical. I'm, I'm not sure where... Oh, man, he's chirping right in Alexis McAllister's face, or is he going to help him up here? Okay. Yeah, just totally late. Catches him right on the right foot. A lot of pushing and shoving in there that Andres Matonte trying to manage. Messi in swinger, takes a flick for a header, and did that go across the line? It sure looks like it did. The officials are conferring right now as Lisandro Martinez celebrates. The referee is going to go to the assistant referee. They do not have goal line technology here at Copa America. And it is a goal. Well, what a ball in. Just watch Lissandra Martinez sneak around the back here. And the header at the near post. And it is clearly across the line. Absolutely a goal. Ecuador losing their marks, and it's a well-worked set piece from Argentina because he spins around, everybody runs to the near post, and that's what they're aiming for because Messi puts it on a dime. Puts it right at that near post. McAllister gets across the near man. He flicks it to the back post, and a wide-open tap-in in the end from Lissandro Martinez. His first goal for Argentina. Some pressure just able to keep that. Pocket pick a second time. It's terrific work by Nico Gonzalez. He hands it off for De Paul. It's going to off the bounce. Be fired across the face of goal by Enzo Fernandez. Did he mean that or was it a mishit shot? It's out either way. At the end of the 90 minutes, 
Romero and Caicedo on the side. It's 10 v 10 right now as it goes along the top. Martinez brought it down, turns and fires there over his shoulder, puts it wide. It's a goal today, Lataro Martinez getting the start. This is a long direct ball up. He, he uses his body so well. Here we go. Off the post! Back in! Did Martinez get a touch? He did! It's out for a quarter! Boy, Martinez went the wrong way completely, but Valencia couldn't get it in! And they're just checking this, by the way, to make sure that he was on his line. It looked like he was creeping up. It looked like Emmy Martinez, I was watching, he took a couple of stutter steps, so it's going to be interesting when that ball comes off the foot of Enter Valencia. They're going to have a pretty clear, watch him here, it's creeping up. Yes, his right leg is back behind the line. Now the question... And encroachment maybe, too. Because in Copier... Oh, so he's actually saying offside on the second ball. Because in Copier, it was yeah. inside the box when it was taken, yeah. so they won't even get a corner out of it. And Emmy Martinez, wow. Getting the crowd going. And look, you can say a miss, he went the wrong way, but Enter Valencia, whatever state he was in, it's just too nonchalant the way he passes it. His body shape, he's... All right, so stepping in, Talifico try to hold it up. It's recovered in the middle. DePaul, Julian Alvarez waiting for it. Oh, it's going to find him. Alvarez, that was right at Dominguez. Sarmiento in the middle. Caicedo lets it run, plays across. Preciado. Franco trying to return. Preciado was blocked off by Talia Fico. Then he goes down on the heap. Then he caught by a wayward arm. It's given away. Pius stepped in. But that's going to be whistled and a foul there and a yellow card shown to Moises Caicedo. Preciado felt that he got contact to the face as he was trying to make that run in behind to pick up the one two pass from Franco. He's still got his hand up. At this point, you're definitely not going to get anything because the foul wasn't whistled and unless it's a red car, which it's not. But I think Gil Gonzalez, kind of the steel swim move, he's flapping his right arm out, catches him in the face. I do think that's a foul, but he didn't get it. And then that was definitely a foul on the second one where Caicedo just completely cleaned out Rodrigo DePaul. Opportunity to really find a way into the game. There's no, there's no space in there against Argentina. That's going to be, oh boy, late there. Seattle who got caught. It's Nico Gonzalez who gets the yellow. Here Paul trying to cut it inside. Muscle off it by Caicedo. And he came in oh, for a, a touch. Take. Great little move on the outside. Yaboa running forward. He goes down. Free kick coming for Ecuador. And a yellow card shown to Talia Fico. My goodness, what a take under pressure. That ball was fired into him from Franco. A good 25 yards. Takes it under pressure between two, fender, two defenders. Wriggles his way out of the challenge. Then drives at the back line with speed. And wins a free kick. Look at this ball. And Kapier plays it. There, just that little hesitation gets Otamendi to bite. He thought he was going to let it run across his body and stay. Came back on the left foot. Came inside driving at the back line and Talia Fico decided I got to make a foul here Still at the back Rodriguez picks it up Jordi Caicedo has it now Caicedo then blasts it into the outside netting on a wonderful opportunity yes, this ball comes around that little touch there and then backpedaling loses his footing Romero does Emiliano Martinez is for what it's worth that one's whistled as a foul quickly back into play for Moises Caicedo Comes back to the right. Man down for Argentina. They're just going to play on. Cutting it inside. Crossing it. Takes the flick. It's in. Ecuador has scored. It's stoppage time. Kevin Rodriguez got a head to it. Incredibly, the game is tied. Tells the story. Argentina fans cannot believe their eyes. Ecuadorian fans thinking, we've had next to nothing outside of the penalty. But there it is at the end. And...
Gonzalez, two Argentine players go down, and I, I was surprised they took this one quickly because I thought, hey, bring everybody up, but instead they take advantage, go right back down to the right. Gonzalez is on the ground. They have the overload. They get, can't get pressure on the ball. And the header there coming in, yeah, he's on side, and nobody touches it at the end of that one. What a great ball in from Yaboa. And Rodriguez off the bench. Finding the side netting. Wow. Shootouts. Going to be controlling the outside of Dallin Minda for Ecuador. Minda running into the box. Minda crossing it in. Oh. There was a flashing header there from Jordi Caicedo. And it skipped off his head. He might have just won it. Oh, so hard to stop. Minda just puts it in a great spot. Look at that chance, too. He gets there in front of Monte. Panenka's off the top of the bar into the roof of the net. Messi missed. Saved. Oh, Messi and what this team is doing for them, but it always needs players to step up around, and this is why this team has been so successful. For Latara Martinez as a sub, taking in the second round, makes it. <laughs> taking in the second round in front of 70,000 fans in Houston. Saves again! It's almost like he expects to save every single one. Same thing again. Look at that left hand up above his. Scores. That's a great penalty. Just a focus. He, he saved the part first two. John Yeboah is from Germany. Might have been playing for the Germans at the Euros. He switched to Ecuador this year, and he delivers. And boy, did they need him to. This would put Argentina on the verge of victory. Yes. or something but it is in and Ecuador are alive but just barely oh he went the right way he had it and yes 